Have you ever wondered why Sigma males seem detached from women? This unique category of men, often introverted and self-reliant, can come across as detached and aloof, particularly when it comes to interactions with women. They're not your average Joe, and their distinctive approach to social dynamics can sometimes leave us scratching our heads. What's going on behind those thoughtful eyes? What makes them tick? Join us as we delve into the psychology of Sigma males and their detachment. First, it's important to understand what we mean by Sigma males. Sigma males are a distinct type within the sociosexual hierarchy, a classification that also includes the more commonly known Alpha and Beta males. But Sigma males are different. Sigma males are typically introverted, self-reliant and non-conformist. They're the lone wolves of the hierarchy, often choosing solitude over social engagement. They march to the beat of their own drum, uninterested in status symbols or power games. They are comfortable in their own skin, and they value their independence above all else. In contrast, alpha males are typically extroverted, dominant, and socially adept. They are the leaders, the ones who are often at the top of social hierarchies. They crave power, status, and control. Beta males, on the other hand, are often perceived as less dominant or ambitious than alphas. They are usually the followers, the supporters, and the peacemakers. Unlike alphas and betas, sigma males don't play by the societal rules of hierarchy. They exist outside of the conventional social order. They aren't leaders like alphas, nor followers like betas. They are self-sufficient individuals who prefer their own company and their own path. They are the enigmatic, mysterious figures who live by their own rules. With a clear understanding of who sigma males are, we can now explore their detachment from women. Sigma males are not antisocial, they are selectively social. This is a key understanding when we delve into the psychology behind their detachment. Now, let's take a moment to realize that being selectively social doesn't mean these individuals are detached from society or people, but rather they prefer to engage with the world in a different, more solitary way. Sigma males are often seen as lone wolves. They thrive in their own space, free from societal constraints, able to explore their thoughts and ideas without interruption. This preference for solitude is not born out of disdain for others, but from a profound sense of self-reliance. Sigma males find joy in their own company, and they have a strong desire to rely on themselves and themselves alone. This self-reliance is a cornerstone of the Sigma male's psychological makeup. It's not about arrogance or a belief that they're better than others, but rather about an innate desire to stand on their own two feet. They find fulfillment in knowing that they can navigate the world independently, without needing to lean on others for support. But why do Sigma males tend to be selectively social? The answer lies in their value system. Sigma males prioritize quality over quantity. They prefer deep, meaningful interactions over superficial small talk. They choose to invest their energy in relationships that matter. Relationships that offer intellectual stimulation and mutual respect. It's essential to understand that this selective social tendency does not mean Sigma males lack empathy or the ability to form connections. Quite the contrary, they can form deep bonds, but they choose to do so on their own terms. They value authenticity and sincerity in their interactions, and they're not afraid to distance themselves from situations or relationships that don't align with these values. So when we talk about the detachment of Sigma males, it's not about an inability to connect or a disregard for others. Instead, it's about their unique approach to social interaction, their preference for solitude and their strong sense of self-reliance. Sigma males value their independence and freedom, which often leads to their perceived detachment. However, this detachment is not a barrier, but a bridge to deeper, more meaningful connections built on their own terms. It's not that Sigma males can't form relationships, it's that they approach them differently. This statement might come as a surprise to you, but let's delve deeper to understand the relationship dynamics of a Sigma male. Sigma males, with their introverted and self-reliant nature, approach relationships in a way that might seem unconventional or perplexing to some. They are not aloof or indifferent, they simply value their personal space and independence even within relationships. This doesn't mean they are incapable of love or emotional connection, on the contrary, their relationships often carry a depth that is hard to find elsewhere. In the realm of romantic relationships, Sigma males may seem detached, but this detachment is often mistaken for disinterest. In reality, they are simply not driven by the need for constant companionship that is common in many societal norms. Instead, they seek meaningful connections that respect their need for solitude and independence. 
This independent streak also means they are less likely to follow traditional relationship timelines or societal expectations. They might not feel compelled to move in together after a certain period of dating, or feel the need to constantly update their social media with couple photos. Instead, they prioritize genuine connection and mutual respect above all else. In friendships, Sigma males may not have a large social circle, but the friends they do have are often close and long-lasting. They value quality over quantity, and their friendships are based on mutual respect and shared interests, rather than societal obligations or superficial connections. In family relationships, Sigma males may not be the most vocal or expressive, but their actions often speak louder than words. They are there when it matters, providing quiet but steadfast support. They may not participate in every family gathering or event but they value their family ties deeply. So, why do Sigma males appear detached from women? It's not a matter of disinterest or incapability, instead it's their unique approach to relationships, which is defined by their need for personal space, independence, and meaningful connections. Remember, detachment doesn't mean disinterest or incapability in relationships. Let's debunk some common misconceptions about Sigma males and their detachment. The Sigma male, a term that is becoming increasingly popular in our society, has been shrouded in misunderstanding. Often, these men are perceived as emotionally unavailable or simply uninterested in women. But is that really the case? Contrary to popular belief, Sigma males are not emotionally unavailable. They are fully capable of experiencing deep emotions and forming meaningful relationships. However, they may not express their feelings in the same way as other men. Their emotional intelligence is often high, and they are skilled at managing their feelings, which can sometimes be mistaken for emotional unavailability. Sigma males are also not uninterested in women. They value relationships but their approach is different. They prioritize independence and self-reliance, often choosing to focus on their personal growth and self-improvement. This doesn't mean they don't want to be in a relationship, but rather that they are selective taking their time to find someone who respects their independence and aligns with their values. Sigma males are not loners by default. They enjoy solitude, but they also value meaningful connections. They are not anti-social but selectively social, choosing to invest their time and energy in relationships that are enriching and rewarding. The detachment of Sigma males is not a reflection of disinterest, but rather a manifestation of self-preservation. They detach to preserve their independence, to maintain their emotional balance, and to focus on their personal growth. They value their alone time and respect others who do the same. So don't be quick to label or judge a Sigma male. They are not cold or distant but simply selective. They are not uninterested but rather waiting for the right connection. They are not aloof but rather independent, valuing their space and freedom. Sigma males are complex and often misunderstood, but their detachment is not a sign of disinterest. Understanding Sigma males and their detachment can lead to better relationships and interactions. This is the essence of what we've been discussing today. Let's take a moment to revisit some of the key points we've covered. We began our journey by defining who Sigma males are. These are the individuals who prefer solitude over social gatherings, who value their own company and independent thinking above all else. They are the ones who march to the beat of their own drum, separate from the alpha and beta male archetypes we're all familiar with. Next, we delved into the psychology behind Sigma male's detachment from women. We learned that this detachment isn't born out of disdain or disinterest. Instead, it's an integral part of their personality, driven by their need for autonomy and independence. Their detachment allows them to maintain their individuality and pursue their passions without external influences. We then explored the unique dynamics of Sigma males in relationships. Contrary to popular belief, their detachment doesn't equate to a lack of emotional depth or an inability to form meaningful connections. In fact, when a Sigma male chooses to invest in a relationship, it's often deep, authentic, and marked by a profound understanding of their partner. Finally, we debunked some common misconceptions about Sigma males. They aren't loners out of some inherent social deficiency, nor are they emotionally unavailable. They simply have a different approach to life and relationships, one that prioritizes self-reliance and introspection. Remember, it's crucial to understand and respect these unique traits and behaviors of Sigma males. Misunderstanding or misinterpretation can lead to unnecessary tension or conflict. But with understanding comes empathy, and with empathy comes stronger, healthier relationships. 
We hope this exploration has shed some light on the enigmatic Sigma male and why they often choose to detach from women. It's been an intriguing journey, one that underscores the diversity and complexity of human personality types. Remember everyone is unique and Sigma males are no exception, their detachment is just a part of their intriguing personality.